Nobody owns the sky. Brave Bessie was the name that people gave to the young pilot Bessie Coleman in the 1920s when she flew as a daredevil stunt pilot in air shows all over the United States. Born in 1893, she grew up at a time when it was difficult for any woman to become to become a pilot, but for a black woman, it seemed impossible. All the same, Bessie followed her dream, and in 1922, she became the first licensed black aviator in the world. This is her story. Nobody owns the sky. Written by Reeve Lindbergh. Illustrated by Pamela Paperon. Translated by Srila Strategy. Read and adapted by David Kay. There was a young woman who wanted to fly, but people said, kiss that wish goodbye. The sky is too big and the sky is too high and you never will fly, so you'd better not try. But this woman laughed and just said, why? Nobody owns the sky. Up above flew the dove and the raven too. With the red birds red and the blue birds blue and the brown hawks circling far and few and the call of the swallows that follow the dew. When the high wild geese come traveling through with the wind on their wings flying free, flying true she called to them all and she said, Hey you, I'm coming up there too. Bessie, Bessie Coleman, grew up a century ago in a cabin built near where the creek waters flow. She worked picking cotton as white as the snow and watched cottony clouds up above come and go. Bessie wished she could rise up and fly high and low over Texas a long time ago. Bessie worked hard at school and she dreamed about flight. People said she was crazy it wouldn't be right. You're a girl, not a man, and you're not even white. But did she stop dreaming? Not quite. She went off to college and wanted to stay but it cost so much money that she couldn't pay. She moved to Chicago and worked every day at the White Sox Barbershop, earning her way. White men can fly, why can't I, she would say. But the flying schools turned her away.
and Bessie dreamed about flying but didn't know where. Then one day someone said, fly in France. They won't care that you're black and a woman. So Bessie went there. She was young, tough, and smart. She had courage to spare. And she took like a hawk to the air. Bessie came home a pilot, so happy and proud. She could ride on the wind, glide and spin in a cloud. Parachute, loop the loop, Bessie drew a huge crowd. When she flew over airports or fields barely plowed, her courage and daring had everyone wowed. Brave Bessie, they shouted out loud. On the ground, Bessie lectured to crowds big and small, people gathered in church or inside the town hall. Come and fly, boys and girls, black or white, short or tall. The air has no barrier, boundary, or wall. The blue sky has room for us all. Bessie's life was not long, but she flew far and wide. Her air shows in Boston left crowds starry-eyed. But in Jacksonville, Florida, everyone cried because Bessie's plane failed and she fell and she died. Farewell, farewell, brave Bessie, everyone sighed. Other young men and women wanted to fly, and people said, why not give it a try? The sky is still big and the sky is still high, but you're bound to get there by and by. Just remember Bessie's words till the day you die. Nobody owns the sky. Look above, see the dove, and the raven too, with the red birds red, and the blue birds blue. And the brown hawks circling far and few. And the call of the swallows that follow the dew, when the high wild geese come traveling through, with the wind on their wings, flying free, flying true. You can call to them all, you can say, hey you, I'm coming up there too. Nobody owned the sky. The story of brave Bessie Coleman. This is Brooklyn Blowback.